Hey guys, here I'm going to talk about an issue. Um, so I talked about how I afford magic cards in the previous video, and a lot of you were asking that question. You know, I don't have anything to hide. Like, everything's on Facebook, like on my Facebook page. Like, they already know, like, what I do for a living and who I am and stuff like that. Uh, dating and magic. So I don't hide that either. I think that's on my Facebook page as well, but it was, like, a long time ago, but uh, we're, we're still, like, chilling, right? Uh, dating and magic, so my GF is, I'm not going to put a picture, and I did ask her if she wanted to be in this video, and she wanted to be on YouTube. We've been dating for some time, since, since I guess, like, if, I guess my Facebook people know, <laughs> since that post, uh, picture was posted, and, yeah, we're, we've been dating some time, she's pretty cool, she's not a nerd or a geek, um, she's actually a... Uh, what she's doing right now, it's kind of crazy. She's a actress slash model. I don't really know how to define that for you as in terms, like I'm a developer slash graphic designer slash I own a part of a marketing agency slash I'm a co-founder of software. That stuff all makes sense to me. But for her, she is either like away for a long time for like, you know, a week or two on shooting in different locations and having a really good time. And, or she'll be at home like the entire time. So yeah, dating in Magic is very interesting because when I try, I introduced her to Magic, she felt like, okay, so I'm a actress model, I can make Magic videos. And then she made her first Magic video and she just didn't feel like she had enough knowledge to do it. Now, do I want her to, do I want, I want to encourage her to make more Magic videos? Yes, maybe in the future, but not right now because she doesn't want to do it. And so dating and magic is very interesting because your Friday night, uh, Friday, so I don't have that much free time to begin with, but Friday nights are kind of sacred when you are in a relationship. It just is. That's your date night. Um, that's when you get off work, she gets out. Again, she's a little different because her work schedule is so weird and she's traveling like all over the place. Now, Friday night is kind of, if we're both in, the same city on a Friday night, that is a night where you go out and you grab dinner and you eat and you see a movie if it's a down night. Like, I don't like staying in Friday nights. That's something that I'm not a fan of, although sometimes I do have to do a development sprint and all that type of fun stuff. But um, staying in Friday night, I've never done it. I've never ever done it since high school. High school, I've always gone out Friday night. College, I've always gone out Friday night. Grad school, I've always gone out Friday night. Life, I've always gone out Friday night. So for me to like give up a Friday night, especially when your significant other also feels the same way you do, really difficult to do. And I don't make that many Friday night magic. I do make every single game day and every single pre-release I, I go to because pre-release is different in my opinion. It's just like all night event. And um, you have to really talk to your significant other. I, I know some of my subscribers are female, so I feel like they might have the same issues. Maybe it's a different issue. Leave a comment below if uh, you are dating someone who doesn't play magic and doesn't actually understand magic and doesn't really know what's going on in magic and doesn't really want to know, um, which is perfectly fine. We have other things we like. Uh, she likes anime. She's getting into anime a lot and she's a fantastic artist. Um, not really a digital graphic designer, but just an artist in general. Um, she has photography equipment, which is... So I have really nice equipment to film on. Like, you don't understand, like, I have it. I just don't like upload times because my internet where I live is so slow. I mean, I did upgrade the internet because I needed to upgrade anyway. But when you date and you, you're significant, if you're dating someone who doesn't really understand magic or doesn't really want to play magic, it is very difficult because Friday night, that's kind of the night where you're ex not expected, but you should go out with your significant other to for at least dinner. But by the time dinner's over, remember Friday night magic starts at like six o'clock or 6.30. And then it goes until, at least for me, it goes until midnight or 11. So you can't get dinner if you go, yeah, Friday night magic. And if you go get dinner, you can't go to Friday night magic. So you gotta choose which one you're gonna have to choose. And it used to be, I used to, uh, in my previous relationships, minus the ex-fiance, because your ex-fiance has obviously more power over your lifestyle, I guess. 
Uh, and, and minus people who live. So I guess like if also if they live with you or they you live together, that's also like you know a big um, indicator of uh, what control they have or may not have over your lifestyle. But um, I typically go to every game day, every pre-release. F and M is really tough for me to go to mainly because those are date nights. Uh, F and M falls on Friday date nights, and you might be like, why don't you just do Saturday date nights. Saturday is a date night too. So Friday and Saturday are date nights just because I work so much in the weekdays. I work, even if I'm home, I'm working because I'm either developing some stuff or doing some PBC or doing some SEO or doing just ridiculous stuff that takes a lot of my time. Um, so I don't get to spend as much time as I so we can be in the same room. I just have my headphones on and I'm just grinding out. Like I, when I'm work at home, I'm doing 18 hours a day work at home. I'm not kidding you. That's like what my last work at home day was. It was 18 hours and it was Friday. It was like Friday into Saturday, which would be like into today. So I just finished my work at home day and I work weekends and the daytime too. So playing magic, having a significant other and then having you know a job that is demanding will takes will make it difficult. Um, you have to kind of choose. You have to kind of pick. Uh, leave me a comment if you have any suggestions for me how to I can play more Magic. I would love to pe play more Magic. I think in the last video I said I was very envious of people who have more time. Um, I don't have much time, and you know that's some that's something I would like to have more of, but. Currently, I just don't have enough of it. So yeah, anyways, that's it for this particular set of videos. And I'll see my page, I'll see you guys. Um, I guess this the Patreon video will be posted before this one. So anyway, I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.